Hank Acapunk here, uh, coming to you with an interesting test here. We went, during the course of the compression test, uh, we got some interesting results, and so we're going to, uh, what, what we, when we analyzed the results, we sort of found that while the compression test told us a lot of what we wanted to know, it didn't tell us everything that we wanted to know about these five different types of paint that I have on hand. So I quick whipped up this test and I could not be happier with this rig. Literally I came home yesterday from compression testing thinking about this exact issue and how I was going to test for it. And uh, I was like, oh, you know, I, I live in a split level house when I'm, uh, I'm living with my parents here. And, um, and uh, I could just drop them off that balcony. And it turns out that, you know, we're dropping, I guess I'll get the measurements so it goes on the data table. That is a cutting board down there, and I'm dropping paintballs from right here onto the cutting board. And it's about, it's probably about eight or nine feet, um, which is a little bit higher than, than, we, uh, than just, you know, dropping them from the hip or whatever. And actually, this is perfect, because off of 20 samples, we're getting the exact exactly perfect, amazingly perfect values for number of bounces. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm counting the number of bounces versus the number of breaks. Um, <laughs> and literally, like, if this was three feet higher, we would be getting shit for values. And if this was three feet lower, we would be getting shit for values. But it's like, it's perfect. I, I, you couldn't even design a better test than this. Um, so I got my five grades of paint here, ch -ch -ch -ch, bunch of paint, and I have some in the freezer too. So, uh, Attached to this video, obviously, will probably be the data tables, and uh, and you guys can take a look at those. So, uh, couldn't be more happy with this rig, and the other great thing about this rig, totally repeatable. Um, so, I think I'm going to try and do an aged paintball test on this rig uh, as well, even though I'm out of aged paintballs, because I'll just age some more. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys have a good one, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Yep, see ya.